Yo, what is your YouTube? It's your boy into beats. See, I'll show the title of the video. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to record your vocals inside of Edison. You get what I'm saying? So, let me just play a trap. I mean, a beat that I have. So, the first thing you guys wanna do before doing anything, you wanna set up your microphone, right? So, so the first thing you guys wanna do is set up your microphone. So, I'm gonna set it up over here on 18. So, you have to come here by the input. Since I'm using a USB mic, I'm gonna be choosing this option over here for my input yeah, yeah see, see now, now i can, can hear, hear myself. myself so i'm gonna switch them off for now so i did the input you also need to do the output so which will be this option over here so once that is done you'll see this recording button is on over here now you want to load up edison and this is where the magic starts you get what i'm saying so edison always confuses me where are you there you go right so as you can see over here the vocals i mean the mic is set up and we can and Edison sees it. So what a cool trick I like to do is I come over here, then I press detached. Since I'll be recording vocals, whatever I press, I know that my my Edison will still be open over here. You get what I'm saying? So the only downfall about using Edison is that you have to synchronize your vocals to whatever beat you're having. So I'll just give you guys an example. Um, let me just record a few freestyle from the top. So if you wanna hear your voice, by the way, you can. Put, put this, this on, on and, and then you can, can hear your voice, voice but i don't like it it's irritating you just switch it off like i did over here right so let me record <laughs> this is just for demonstration purposes so now you have your vocals set up if you want to listen to them you just, just put, put the this on, on but, but it's gonna, gonna clash, clash because the, the sound play. so before you do anything guys you want to use the denoiser it's very simple doesn't even take long so once you hear you just want to set this frequency scale until you see c3 then you press acquire noise profile if you have a faster PC than I have, this should be way quicker. Then from there, you can just drag your vocals to the playlist. You get what I'm saying? And this is the part where you synchronize it. I'll just put it here. Because this project is packed. I should have actually chose a beat that has way less things on it. Right, so here are my vocals. So, I'm going to put this aside. What did I mean by synchronizing? So, you're going to come here by your magnet. I like to do it while the magnet is on 9. So where did I start rapping? I know I started rapping somewhere around here. Yeah. So let's hear it. Okay, riding around in a rover. Look at these niggas they made. I'm getting the cash. I'm too busy on the beat, nigga. You know what it do. So as you guys can hear, the vocals are very low, so you need to normalize it. Yeah. Okay, riding around in a rover. Look at these niggas they made. I'm getting the cash. I'm too busy on the beat, nigga. You know what it do. Okay, all of these niggas are riding around in a rover. Yeah, so that's basically the gist of it guys that's how you record that's how you synchronize and yeah and i showed you guys a little tips and tricks that you guys can do so if you guys want to learn how to record vocals the normal way without using edison check out this video over here